everyone, I'm back with my second video and first I'd like to give a shout out to Thunderwolf90 That's Thunder with two R's, just to clarify Because they caught me in my den mid-decorating Thank you so much for your kind words and for watching my video I'm hiding people's actual usernames for this video in particular In case we observe some potential scammers It's just like a defamation thing, I don't want to call anyone out Unless they actually scam, then I will be reporting them just for the safety of other users <laughs> Anyways, on to the video's actual subject Scamming. I know, I know, you're all tired of hearing about it, but it's just as prevalent as ever. It might never go away, but if you're new, then I will give you some tips for how you can be a safer and smarter jammer. Or if you're a veteran user, still stick around because we're going to have a talk about what to do when you see a potential scam. At the end, I'll just mention, you know, what you can actually do if you've been scammed, because I did contact, um, AJHQ directly. So first, the definition of scamming. My best friend Google describes a scam as a dishonest scheme of fraud. When people say they've been scammed in AJ, what they really most often mean is that something was stolen from them by taking part in said scheme. They happen to fall victim to a fraudulent user lying to their faces. Common examples are, this trade gets my entire outfit. Now, if you've never seen that before, basically the user will be wearing a bunch of rare items. Like, everything you could ever want, they got it on, okay? On their list will be something cheap or worth next to nothing. This usually invites random users to offer trades of rare items in exchange for scammers on rare item. Thinking that if they win, they will be awarded with the scammer's entire ensemble. Please, never fall for this. <laughs> the first time I witnessed it, a user traded her Dizzy Stars for some starter piece of furniture, and she never got anything from the scammer's outfit. They disappeared almost immediately. I didn't know that people on this game were really gonna scam other innocent kids out of virtual items, but I guess it happens, and that was my first exposure to it. That's probably the most common scam that I see, as these scammers are neither bright nor creative, fortunately for us. So, watch out for that one. Another common scam could happen when people take advantage of new jammers. Obviously, that, they ha that happens, unfortunately. Never ever ask what your list is worth in-game. Please look it up yourselves, as the Animal Jam Play Wild Wiki has good discussions on particular items. If you don't know what your item is worth, look it up. The reason I say this is because if you ask in-game, there's a chance you could come across a bad jammer. If you ask, um, oh, how long is my rainbow spike collar worth, they could tell you nothing. And they'll offer to trade you something else for it, though, that's actually good, which is a lie. But many of you don't know that yet. <laughs> it's not your fault. The purpose of this is to educate you guys who can protect yourselves and then eventually others. Now, my word for the veteran jammers, my one request for you is to just be vigilant, please. If you see a potential scam going on, say something. I'm not going to go, sorry, I'm not saying to go crazy, but try to, to handle the potential victim before talking to the actual potential scammer. Say, hey, that's not really safe, you could get scammed and lose your items forever if they're lying. And basically, do anything you can to convince them not to fall victim to the potential scammer's trap. I say potential because I'm trying to give people the benefit of the doubt here. You know, some people might sound like they're scamming, but maybe there's one or two people that are being truthful about it. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt until the scam actually falls through and actually happens. You know, I just try to see the best in people. Whatever. So, as I mentioned earlier, I did actually message AJHQ myself and asked what exactly would happen if a user got scammed, and that's never happened to me before, fortunately. Um, I'll post the exact message on the screen that I received. Now, I know nobody wants to hear this, but in short, you're never going to get your scammed items back by having them gifted to you. But I, but by that, I mean they're not going to just hand you back your items. You have to, like, you know, earn them yourself, try from scratch, yada yada. If anything, take a bunch of screenshots and report the user, and that's really all you can do. If you're very serious about your items or the user being disciplined, perhaps bring the screenshots to HHQ and see what happens, but at the very least, the actions taken upon the scammer might be greater, but you're still out of whatever items you lost. It stinks, but hopefully you've learned from the ordeal and can use your knowledge to prevent future scams. 
Turn into like a hero and pass on the information you've learned, whether from your own experience or videos similar to mine, and catch a skim when you see them. Step in and prevent a sp uh, no. step in and prevent a potential scam and educate the person on what they can do to protect themselves. And lastly, if you've been scammed, please don't go whining in a sapphire shop about trade me my blank. Mine just got scammed. You don't want to hear this, but the truth is that a lot of people don't care, and it's not because they're mean. It's because this is said so often that the meaning is kind of lost. People's reaction to that is less sympathetic and more, is this player lying to get free stuff? I don't know, but it's not worth the risk. So don't feel sorry for yourself. Just pick it up and start from scratch all over again. It stinks, but if you keep working towards your goal, keep trading, keep getting new items, you'll get what you, what you lost back in no time. I hope this video was okay. It's the first time I've scripted anything, and I'm sorry if this was so long, but it's a lot of information to cover in such a short amount of time. Let me know how you felt about it and what I can do to improve.